Hello, YouTube. Um, kind of interesting. I had uh, put my pickup on uh, uh, Craigslist. I got a 2010 Chevrolet Silverado. Uh, it's got about 97,000 miles on it now. And uh, I have an opportunity to be able to sell it and actually uh, pay down some debt. I uh, I, I really kind of need this truck, but uh, then again, I sick and tired of uh, paying the monthly payment every month, and I was thinking about getting something that I wouldn't have as much of a payment. Uh, anyway, put it on Craigslist, and I tell you what, um, some weird things as far as I've only had two people ask questions. Uh, I'm actually putting it on the dealer's lot this coming week here, and uh, and I've had a couple of people ask questions. Uh, one guy uh, uh, asked if it had active fuel management. Well, it's kind of a no-brainer. Anybody that knows Chevrolet, the Silverado 1500s had uh, pretty much only one engine in them, and uh, yeah, it was active fuel management. I listed the engine size and yeah, everything pretty much in that V8, that 5.3 V8 is active fuel management since 2007. So knew there was something kind of fishy there. Um, wrote uh, me another message and uh, was going to get bring me a cashier's check and pick it up. And I says, well, the dealer's handling this transaction, so no. Uh, you can bring a cashier's check for to the dealer. Uh, I'm I'm not dealing with it. Uh, I, I'm I'm willing to give the dealer a few dollars just to uh, have some of the issues of uh, uh, characters uh, stuff like that. Uh, you know, being uh, being taken by uh, by people. So I decided just to pay him and uh, let him be uh, be the judge of uh, if they're going to. Uh, uh, you know, uh, be writing a bad check or whatever. So, anyway, the next thing I got was, uh, did you smoke in another guy? And, uh, no, I don't smoke. No, I haven't had anybody in that, that has smoked either. Uh, except when it goes to the dealership and those guys smoke in the dealership, uh, which I can't understand, uh, uh, you know, I don't get how they can get by with that, but that's another story. Um, uh, so far, I've gotten the car in there, and it hasn't smelled like smoke, but I know they're smoking back there anyway. So, luckily, they're not smoking in my car. I don't care, I guess, if they smoke or not. That's that, that's their problem, but if they smoke in my car, I'm not going to be very happy about it. Uh, so, I get a call. I said, no, I don't smoke. It hasn't been smoked in, blah, blah, blah. And I get a, a message back, uh, would you be willing to trade a uh, secluded lake lot in northern Minnesota? No, I want money. I want money for the thing. I don't want a lot. Uh, so haven't heard from them. So I tell you what, I don't know if these are scams or what the deal is, but I'm getting pretty doggone sick and tired of this uh, whole deal. Uh, only two bites, but both of them go nowhere. So, I don't know. I don't think Craigslist, I didn't put anything on eBay. I don't want to deal with it, I guess. So, uh, it's going to the dealer's lot this week and and uh, uh, let him deal with it. Uh, I'd rather sell it to somebody locally anyway. Uh, so, anyway, just thought it kind of share uh, this with you and uh, not sure if Craigslist is the greatest place on earth. Uh, I think it's a great place to maybe buy something from it, but a little bit leery about selling something on it. So um, anyway, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Seeing my ugly face here. So have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.